cleaning my studio and I've just had a call um, because of the lighting in this situation in this hub I listen to all your guys feedback and Jane's actually mentioned who we deal with uh, to remove the purple vinyl on the front of the uh, window and then potentially adding much brighter lights in the strip lights to see if that helps the lighting design in this place is so bad. I mean, the ceiling looks really cool and everything in the studio. Like, don't get me wrong, it looks cool, but it's not... Like, you want a bright, open, airy space to work in, and it's not good for me or the team to be working in such, like, dingy, dark conditions. Like, look how dark that is, and it's daylight, and we've got tons of lights on outside. This room is brilliant, because I've got, like, a million and one different lights on, but, yeah. so many stickers these are from like collection of my own stickers and what you guys have sent me I've got this little pot and I'm gonna put my SD cards in but I feel like it needs like a little cute sticker on the front decide whether it looks rubbish with these on. These are all the pins that I first unboxed at Catnip, like my first ever pins. This peach dude is my first ever pin that I ever did. Look at these guys! Ta-da! All my original pins. I'm just cleaning up. I moved the basket over there because <laughs> to be honest things are getting a little out of hand. I don't think I've got any more wall space. Uh, so I put a little basket over there near Bumble Butt and now I just need a hoover. feeling and then organizing your workspace your home or anything this has been a long time coming it's been building up and building up and building up there was so much dust in like random places it smells so fresh now when you walk in here and I feel like it's a fresh clean slate I do need to kind of declutter it's been getting like really maximalist style uh, but I kind of like it I don't know do you think there's too much going on here because I think it's just a really fun colorful creative space uh, to work in and we've got our patreon exclusive wallpaper there's our desktop which looks really really pretty i don't look how like full the space is but i don't know it's really cute and i finally hoovered there's no random bits on the floor actually dusted this for the first time in god knows how long and the best part about it is i can tick it off my to-do list satisfying Hey, have you got some 
parcels. Oh, oh wow. I should have brought the lads down. Oh yeah, it's my fake plants, yay. I'm creating a TikTok. Um, I'm really gonna start to edit TikToks in advance because it's really hard to um, do like a video or day. Like, how do people do it? It's, there's a lot that goes into it. But I've just took a video and I edited it on Final Cut Pro of the nice clean studio. I'm just gonna find the perfect music. Have you seen these lights? They look like a space shuttle. Apparently, this is like a mini sun. <laughs> So I hope my lamp doesn't blow up. Whoa! Whoa! That is bright! Yay! I got a lamp for the other end of the room. It's one of those bright lights on it. Ta-da! Nice and bright. Now you can't really see on camera, it's not really doing it justice, but it looks a lot brighter. It doesn't look as cozy though. Should be much brighter. It still looks dark. Maybe it's just all this, I don't know. Uh, the only thing I'm sad about is I used to be able to change the colour of these at night because I do like to add ambiance, but it's more important that we're here during the day. I'm trying to get into a good routine. Anyway, I ordered some trees and stuff off blooming artificial i'm excited to unbox it i ordered a lemon tree and a ficus plant because i've been killing the real plants as you can see it's looking a bit sad and dried out so i'm going to take this home i think i can save it because there's plenty of nice green leaves we've got some fresh shoots coming out so i'm going to take that one home and just have artificial in the studio this came so quick by the way i literally only ordered this yesterday wait a minute it's just one tree in here too Lemon tree. The lemons on it. And a ficus tree. Cool. I don't know why, but this one looks like it's on a wonk. But I'm gonna put it there. I might move it. Everything's a mess. And we've got the lemon tree over there. Lemon tree, your oh lemon tree. Why are you so kawaii? Being re soaked all washy, it looks so neat and tidy. and it just fits. So I'm going to get my planner out. My planner? I'm going to get my Procreate out. I've actually ordered a new case because this is so old now and it's got so many stains on. I need like a pink one. But the problem I'm having is, is I've got a really old iPad, like literally the first generation iPad. I can't find any one that stocks the cases for them because they're so old. It's literally like the 2017 model. It's like 2022. But there's no need to change it. It still works absolutely fine. So why do I need a new one? Anyway, uh, Dean discovered when he was going through like the listings and the Etsy and stuff like that, that uh, we were charging people who are part of Europe, but not the European Union. So non Shergen, Shergen, I can't say it, countries, uh, we were charging them the same as the US, an international uh, post, but it's not, it's actually cheaper. So we have just adjusted that shipping and it's been like that since I opened the shop and I didn't even realise. So I'm actually going to create like a cute little illustration just so I can put it on my Instagram uh, so that the customers know and it's like a prompt to them because we've already had a couple of uh, orders to Norway now and obviously 
if we can get the shipping as low as possible, we want to do that because we want catnip all across the globe. Um, and we only really charge for the shipping materials and the shipping costs. We don't make any profit on our shipping. So I'm going to do a little illustration on Procreate. Before we get into the illustration, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to our sponsors today, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's studio vlog. For those of you who don't know what Skillshare is, it is an amazing online learning community filled to the room with loads of classes and it's also got loads of classes with my favourite creators in. So I have just recently discovered some of my favourite creators like Ali Abdul, Sorella Moore and Michelle B have their own classes and I literally cannot wait to sit down and consume all these amazing classes. One of the classes that I really really love the look of because you guys have known that I've been using the Pomodoro method for productivity is this class by Michelle B. Designing the life you want for exercises for clarity and motivation. I find tips and tricks like this so so helpful and I'm always on a personal journey growth which obviously reflects into the business and into my life to make me a better business person, a better person in general and just more productive and being able to reach those goals that I want to have in mind. If you guys would like to try out Skillshare they are offering the first thousand people to click the link in my description below a full month free trial of Skillshare premium membership. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. As well, such a nice blank canvas new floor we put in, and we didn't realize we were going to move. Nice, cute, bright kitchen. Bye, house. Thank you for beautiful memories. <laughs> 